Hello everyone, welcome to Quantifiers. Students, today I've taken a very good question based on the topic of time, speed and distance. It's not at all a tough question, but definitely a very, very important question from this topic. Before I move on to the question, let me quickly tell you that if you want to receive important notifications on your WhatsApp related to different colleges and different exams, then please fill the form given below in the description. Other important links uh, related to our Facebook group and our Telegram group is also given in the description. Now, let us come to the question. I would request all of you to please pause the video and give this question a try. Okay, so I hope all of you have tried it. It is given that every day on his way to school, Sridhar met a train at the railway crossing. Now, train is traveling in the same direction as that of Sridhar. And Sridhar is walking on a road parallel to the railway track. One day he was late by 20 minutes and he met the train three kilometers before the railway crossing. Speed of Sridhar is given six kilometers per hour. We have to find the speed of the train. Now, first of all, they are traveling in the same direction. So let's assume they are traveling in this particular direction. Now, generally they used to meet at railway crossing. So I'll take this point as railway crossing. Now, one day when he was late by 20 minutes, he met three kilometers before the railway crossing. So I'll assume this point to be the point when they meet when Sridhar was late by 20 minutes. So Sridhar and train are at this particular point when Sridhar was laid by 20 minutes. So we can say that this particular distance will now be equal to three kilometers. I hope till here it is clear to everyone. Now students here, I'll assume a particular value and you will find that it becomes relatively easy. So I'm assuming that generally when they used to meet at railway crossing, let's say that time I'm considering it to be 6 p.m. You can take any value, it does not matter. So students, now can I say, because Sridhar is late by 20 minutes, so now he will reach the railway crossing 20 minutes later. Because if he is late for 20 minutes, then the railway crossing will be 20 minutes late. So he will reach railway crossing at 6.20 p.m. Now, Sridhar is traveling three kilometers and we know the speed of Sridhar. So we can find time taken by Sridhar, right? Students, time is equal to distance by speed. Distance which Sridhar is covering is three kilometers and speed of Sridhar is six kilometers per hour. So from here, students, we'll get the time which comes out to be one by two hours, which is equal to 30 minutes. That means... Sridhar will take 30 minutes to cover 3 kilometers. I hope you have to clear it. Now students, we know that he is going to take 30 minutes and he will reach railway crossing at 6.20 p.m. So if he is going to take 6.20 p.m. and he is going to take 30 minutes, so we can find this particular time when Sridhar is going to meet the train. So that means Sridhar will meet the train exactly at 5.50 p.m. Right? Because uh, from 5.50 p.m., if we add 30 minutes, that will be equal to 6.20 p.m. Now, students, almost the question is over. You can see here that Sridhar is taking 30 minutes. And mind you, train is traveling at its correct time. Train to open time pe hi chal rahi hai. So anyway, train is going to reach railway crossing at 6 p.m. And train is at this particular point at 5.50 p.m. So can I say to cover the same distance of 3 kilometers, train is now going to take only 10 minutes. So now students, we know that train is covering 3 kilometers in 10 minutes. So students, we know the distance, we know the time taken by train, we can find the speed of the train. So speed of train would be distance upon time. Let's convert time into minutes. So that would be 3 by 10 into 60, which comes out to be 18 kilometers per hour. So this is the speed of train. I hope this is clear to everyone. Now, this is one method to find the speed of train. Other method would have been you could have done it orally. Just see here, students, Sridhar is taking 30 minutes. And can I say train is taking 10 minutes? So time taken by train, 
टाइम टेकन बाय ट्रेन इज वन थर्ड जो ट्रेन टाइम ले रही है वो श्रीधर का वन थर्ड ले रही है सो स्टूडेंट्स इफ टाइम इज वन थर्ड दैट मींस स्पीड ऑफ ट्रेन विल बी थ्री टाइम्स स्पीड ऑफ ट्रेन विल बी थ्री टाइम्स एज दैट ऑफ श्रीधर सो फ्रॉम हेयर ऑल्सो वी कैन से दैट स्पीड ऑफ ट्रेन विल बी एटीन किलोमीटर पर आवर so you could have used this method also i hope uh, this question is clear to everyone okay students thank you everyone